Hello, welcome back to another edition of uh, my tank testing series. Um, been asked a few times now to do a lean mix, so I thought I'd do some uh, Gold Pro Bream. This is the black edition. Some normal damp lean. I've already mixed it up, did it all with the, the ground bait whisk. Just going to put a small ball in. I'm going to squeeze it quite hard. See what happens. It's mixed up 50 50, so equal parts of each. I will do some more lean mixes if uh, anyone's interested. I mean, there's that many different mixes you can use, but I thought Gold Pro uh, Black would be a good one, especially for this time of year. Obviously the lean, there's no feed content whatsoever anyway, so... Can't harm to put it in. I will do some with uh, like soil and stuff at some point too. I just wanted to see how this one reacts. I mean, straight out of the bag you can just basically make a nugget out of it. Just one little squeeze and it's done. Obviously you can use uh, lean with fish meal mixes too. Um, I think I've said that before. I've not tank tested it, but it all works anyway. I will do one with fish meal if anyone's interested. Obviously most of the uh, winter league matches and that they're all uh, based around silvers, so there's not really that much need to go full on fish meal uh, mix. You can just add uh, some lean to it or some soil or whatever just to pack it out. What I have found is that if you add um, black lean with uh, soil or black earth in our case from Van den Heim, um, it seems to attract quite a few tench. I've had it quite a few times now I've not actually specifically gone out for tench. Even just using cereal mixes with no fish meal whatsoever in it. I've managed to uh, catch a few tench on winter, mum uh, winter months when I didn't expect to catch any at all. I actually did one, I'll put a link up later on for um, a video I did uh, when I was feeder fishing with double lean, which was uh, yeah, black lean and uh, black earth. We had uh, quite a few tanks on that one, just feeder fishing. Um, brilliant days fishing. Obviously one of them days where I wasn't expecting to catch anything at all. This shows if you mess about with ground baits every now and again, um, you could be surprised at some of the results that you get. I mean, this is breaking down pretty quick, but that's mostly just the lean coming breaking down. There's some you can see some of the little particles of ground bait, but there's hardly anything floating whatsoever. You get a little bit of a cloud coming up, which is the lean. actually breaking down quicker than I thought it would. Well I did squeeze it quite hard too, so hmm. Obviously if you put maggots or casters, pinkies, whatever, I'm casters not really, but uh, pinkies or chop worm in it, it will break it down a bit quicker because of the movement. What I have noticed is this just kind of collapses and just forms a, a small area where it just uh, lays on the bottom. Some of the ground baits they kind of expand a bit and they kind of like fill a bigger area. This one just seems to be staying where, where I put it and just making a small area. So it makes you wonder, did the fish actually attack the ball or did they just go around the outside of the stuff that's already broken off? I'll try and get some footage uh, when it's a little bit warm. I'll take some, uh, some of the other cameras out and I'll actually place the camera under water in the margins or something. See if I can get any uh, decent footage of fish feeding on uh, in the margins. It should be fun. I 
I'll just give that a little prod, see what happens. It's still quite solid in the middle. The, the middle of it is still quite firm, so that's going to take quite a while to break down. It's almost as if it's kind of slowing down now, so that most of the the bulk of the ground bait is still, or well, and the lead is still in one piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Which, if you think about it, in the fishing situation, you could leave that for a, probably about half an hour, probably, without topping up. Obviously, if you're fishing on a canal or something. But you don't really want to feed too much anyway. Like put two balls in at the start. Possibly with Bloodworm and Joker or whatever it is that you use on your canal. I'm sure that'll be uh, a good starting point. There's still some little bits coming off. If you've got any questions about what like any ground bait mixes or anything you want to see or whatever just uh, pop a comment below and if i've got it i'll try it out thanks very much for watching and uh, catch you on the next one cheers